Monster in the Van with Robin Jan. Monster in the Van with Robin Jan. <laughs> and you don't think we need light, eh? It's I don't think we need light. Come okay. on, girl. I'm going to have a sip of your monster. Uh, what? Oh, what? That's going to ruin it for you? Nope. Here, I'll open it. We need to get club soda. Yeah. Let's get some club soda. Yeah. Okay, sit down. Is it already going? It's so already going. <laughs> okay, which one are we looking at now? This We're one or this, at this one? This one right here. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right, are we in it? We're in it. <laughs> you look like you're still too high up. Look at you, just cut off your head still. How's your oh. headrest look? Oh, well, I'm okay. See? You know what? If you turn okay. your chair a bit more, then your headrest. Yeah, turn your chair oh, a little more. Good lord! It'll okay, look there we go. Okay, so anyway. All right, are we starting? You, you start, you tell the story, the saga we're on. I think it's still cutting off your head a little bit. That's good. That's the way I roll. No, seriously, look at it. Okay, just a second, folks. <laughs> Where See? are we here? You Where? Still, oh, yeah, still right here. Right here. Okay, uh, okay, go on. Uh, there. There. Perfect. Yay! Okay, so anyway, take two. Yeah, take two. Hey, anyone who doesn't know who we are, where have you been? Under a rock? Uh, anyways, we are Rob and Jan Can Van. Who was that? I don't know. I know, I'm sweating too. It's yeah. 30, so anyway. 31 and a half degrees outside Celsius, but we have a 27 in here, but because we had to turn off the fan for sound, it, we're going to get warm. But we do this for you. We do? <laughs> anyway. We just wanted to touch base. We haven't done a video in a few weeks, which I'm very upset about because we were so good at putting one out every week since January, uh, but we have just had a heck yeah. of a few weeks getting everything done for becoming full-time van lifers and now we are full-time on the road. We are officially homeless. Woo! Officially homeless. Houseless. Yep. Condoless. Condoless, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so the last few weeks have been hectic. We did it mainly ourselves. We had a little bit of help with loading uh, a few things into uh, the small moving truck we had to move some things to yep. his daughter's place. Uh, but other than that we were non-stop staying up late we, it took a lot longer than we thought to pack up 1,400 square feet going down to 72. <clears throat> so we went from a 1,400 square foot condo with two, three storage units down to one very tiny storage unit and this van. So yeah. between selling and getting rid of things and leaving things in the condo and taking things to families, places and such, it's been insane. Uh, and then we came down to, we rented the truck quite a ways ahead. We, we mainly needed the moving truck to move furniture that we are taking to uh, his daughters, like I said. Yeah, given away. Given away. Given away. Or, uh, so we only kept uh, memorabilia and clothes and a few items, so we really don't have much left for ourselves. Uh, but anyways, we, so we rented a small U-Haul truck weeks ago to make sure we had it in time. Then we were called a couple days ahead to say oh, now you have to pick up your truck in Wasega Beach, which is 45 minutes away. We had booked, deliberately booked a place that was only like two minutes drive down the road yep. on the same street as our condo in order to be able to uh, be, have a quick move and start moving the night before because we had a, quite a drive, like a five hour drive to take everything. So we ended up being told we had to pick it up in Wasega, which we weren't happy about. We said, well, can you give us an X size up maybe instead? She said, well, you'd have to go to Sault Ste. Marie to pick that up, and that's how many hours? Like eight hours? I don't know. Crazy. Anyways, yeah. we, so anyway, we had to we drive go. there, and I thought, well, the day before, let's check to make sure they've got it, because they were saying it's their busiest week because week because of kids going back to school and such. So I called the day before to the place we were renting it from and just wanted to make sure they had our truck. And he said, well, you may have a truck. What? You may have a truck. The guy who's had it uh, was supposed to return it a week ago and still hasn't returned it yet. So I'm not sure if you're going to have a truck tomorrow or not. So then we were a bit stressed about that. Called the next day. They kept thinking he was going to return it. He finally did return it, but it was late in the day. And we didn't want to go to try and retrieve it until we knew for sure it was there. So we picked it up hours later than we had planned to. So we kind of lost that day for moving. And uh, so we, we just had a lot of hectic stuff getting done. Then we're under the gun to get to where we're going in time before we had to return the truck. So it was just a big of a hectic craziness. But anyway. But anyway. Regardless of all that crap. Then all that happens. Then we're organizing things day after day on the yeah. farm. Which 
So that's going to be a fun video yeah, coming up. Gonna... We're going to have a farm life versus van life video and you're going to see us walking goats with leashes. Walking goats. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun. So, spend some time there organizing all of our stuff, trying to condense it into very small areas that uh, that we had to fit under under the bed that Rob built and different things like that. Trying to keep whatever we, trying to once again hone down what we had to, to only keep a, sm a small of a collection of items as we could to have in case we needed it down the road which will probably still cut down again but it's hard to go from a lot of stuff for many years of gathering crap and deciding what to keep and the lesson learned we're not doing this again <laughs> no. so you know what over and done with we don't care we don't, anymore. no more stuff no more stuff so, uh, yeah so anyway where we are right now but, is, wait, but wait what we finished that there's the rest of the story of what's been so hectic. I don't care. So then you're making me sweat. Like you're, you're sweating. It. Okay. Okay. So Cole's notes. So then we're like, okay, it's so exciting. We're gonna be officially homeless as of August thirty first. To be continued. We get a phone call from our lawyer on the thirty first of August on our closing day, eleven thirty in the morning saying, Your house isn't gonna close today. What? So apparently there was an issue. I don't know how much detail we should get into. But no, there's four, we were fourth in a row that day. <laughs> so basically four sales were, were closing all the same day that relied on each other. So the people buying our house did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. The people buying our house did nothing wrong. The people buying their house did nothing wrong. The people buying their house had an issue with financing or something that stopped them from being able to make all the other deals happen. So basically four deals back caused us not to get our house closed and luckily it didn't affect us we had moved out early we'd already you know got everything out of there already were you know sorted out so we didn't have a concern but we felt really badly for the people buying our house and the ones buying their house and so on yeah. because you imagine if you're not told till after 11 o'clock on the day of your move you've already got movers you've already got your truck yeah. filled you're already ready to go then what do you do with everything you hide the movies movers you might have hired you're gonna have them take everything back again and put it back in their house like so we were lucky that it didn't really affect us, but the it was still stressful because we didn't know for sure what had caused all the issues and what if we'd have to start all over again and list our house and sell it and everything else. So basically what happened was we allowed an extension that everyone else allowed as well, so it all worked out and we just finally officially became houseless, homeless, condoless on September the 9th. Well, we did the ninth, I think we were in the van on the seventh. There, the sixth. yeah, we've been on the van since no, we were in the van from before the end of August, from the twenty yeah. sixth, twenty fifth of August, really. Yeah. yeah. So it, we're we've been in the van now for uh, two or three weeks, yeah. living it in it. We had it piled up with things. We're trying to, try to still figure out where they went, but it's all organized ish now, and kind of all set and ready to go. So now we're like, now where do we go? Now what do we do? This is weird. We only have, where is it? I don't have it with me. Where's your key? What? We don't have house keys anymore. It's so yeah, strange. That's, that's reach, the best part. Reach that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, normally you have keys to your house, your garage, your car, whatever. That's all we got. That's it. That's our house key. That's our car key. That's everything all in one. That's all we have. And it's kind of weird. It's hard to not say, oh, when we get home, oh, yeah, we don't have a home. Oh, when we get home, oh, yeah. I keep saying that, you know, at home, this, and it's like, we don't have a home. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we are. And right now, currently, if you see the beauty behind us, this is a rest area. So this is just a rest area. Excuse the vehicle going by. Uh, that's one of those on route stations um, between London and Windsor, I think. Yeah, I forget the name of it now. West Lorne. West Lorne Rest Area. Yeah, really and we nice. kind of looked this up, and it's a beautiful wooded parking area that has all. Uh, picnic tables and flat slabs of concrete to park on and it's a beautiful walking path with trees yeah. and it's free. It's, yeah, it's actually tucked in with uh, a hill between us and the uh, highway and below the en route so uh, it, it's very uh, isolated. Uh, yeah, really, really we didn't pretty. hear anything last night. Nice yeah. and dark. Nice and, and quiet. Uh, and this is the second yeah. one because when we stayed at on the way that was near Woodstock uh, when we left Barry the other night ended up having um, 
uh, a, sim a similar type of thing that was down off to the side, but it was closer to the highway. This one, you can't even hear the highway. It's so tucked into the trees yeah. here. It's beautiful. So I'm, we're happy to stay in these kind of places. It's like yeah. being in a, yeah. a nice campground and it's complimentary. Yeah. So. so we, we left uh, Barry, come down to Port Bruce yeah. and had a little meet up. Yeah. And uh, with uh, some Ontario folks, uh, Van Vita Travels, Paula and V from Call Me V and Mike Lance, Boyle Mama and Amphibious north and yeah a few different people yeah. so and now we're headed to point peely yeah we're going to check out point peely we bought a parks pass at a national park pass last october that we've barely used because of covid and because of getting the house ready to sell and everything else so as a result of that um i decided that we should get some money's worth out of it and go to point peely and because yeah. it's a national park so yeah and we yeah. were just talking to some uh, people who are parked beside us to have their lunch and ironically, that's where they're headed. So uh, we talked yeah. to them about their rig. Uh, they have a, a Northern Lights trailer on a 354, and uh, uh, looks like they've done a lot of camping in these areas, and uh, they're headed down there. So uh, uh, we're going to go down there also, and uh, we will show you any photographs we get. Because what did they say down there? The monarchs? Monarchs are something like 650 monarchs. It's the southernmost point. Peely is the southernmost point in Canada, yeah. or in Ontario, in Canada. Canada. In Canada. And, it, and it's, uh, it's a little point that comes out into Lake Erie and they, that's where the monarchs, the people that were just telling us here that um, the monarchs migrate from that point. So they're, they're, now there was yesterday, as of yesterday, 650 monarchs, butterflies there or something. Yeah, so, so hopefully we'll get some pictures of them. And we'll and, get uh, some pictures and have a little look there. Yeah, and have a look. And, let uh, you know. So it's going to be um, uh, an update. You still have just a couple of fan build videos to put yeah. out, but you're pretty much done with that. Oh, yeah. uh, oh no, I've done with that a long time. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but the videos. Yeah. And then we're going to have, well, this one we're putting out now, we're going to put out a little meetup video and a little video of Port Bruce, which was really pretty and very rugged with the water. It was really yeah. quite rough and cool there. And then uh, we'll do a Point Peely area right. one in that. So well, okay. there's a few videos. Oh, the Farm Life Van Life. Farm of us on the farm so yeah. we'll have a few videos farm. coming out shortly so stay tuned sorry to keep you waiting wondering what's going yeah. on for a few weeks but we're going to keep getting back on track now that we're this is our only focus now so yeah. now we can really put some time into this instead of all that hectic move and yeah. get that behind us and take time to relax and unwind and not be rushing every day wonder what we have to get That's done right. so only one thing left to do what push the button let's, let's go, go. I wanna do it all with you by my side If you're in, meet me here tonight Be brave and come along, I'll be alright Promise we don't need no brake lights We can travel the world, so just